Contamination of biogenic amines in food What is biogenic amines? Biogenic amines are non-volatile low molecular weight nitrogenous organic base derived through decarboxylation of amino acids that can be found in almost all types of foods, feeds and beverage in different concentrations. All foods with high content of proteins and free amino acid may provide suitable conditions for biochemical, microbial activity and consequently biogenic amines formation. Biogenic amines are resistant to heat treatment applied in food processing. Examples of food and beverage contains biogenic amines. Meat, cheese, vegetables, and wine. The most common biogenic amines found in food are histamine, ceramine, putrescine, cadaverin, beta phenylethylamine, acmatine, tryptamine, spermidine, and spermine. How biogenic amines are formed? Biogenic amines are formed by the action of living organisms present during food processing and storage. Higher amounts of certain toxic amines may be found in foods due to poor quality raw materials, microbial contamination, and inappropriate conditions during storage. Although the biogenic amines play some important physiological functions, but high level of amines can cause toxicological effects. High amount of amines can be produced by bacteria during amino acid decarboxylation and have been identified as one of the important agents causing seafood intoxication. Factors influencing biogenic amines production. The first one is quality of raw materials which are microbial contamination and processing conditions. The other one is depend on storage conditions which are temperature, time, pH, presence of oxygen, the presence of fermentable carbohydrate stimulates activity and water activity. The lower water activity, the less microbial activity. Microorganisms with biogenic amines producing ability. Several microbial groups have been identified to possess decarboxylase activity. It has been shown that some microorganisms has been present in meat products, seafood, Soybean fermented product and yogurt. Impact of biogenic amines toxicity on human health. Intake of a low amount of biogenic amines through food is normally not harmful for health as it can be detoxified by amino acids present in the gut. 
However, Bajini amines could be transformed to toxic metabolite responsible for serious human health problems when its amount in food is too high or when detoxification ability is inhibited or disturbed in humans. High amounts of Bajini amines may produce several physiological symptoms such as nausea. Nausea occurs mostly due to consumption of fish containing high amounts of histamine. Respiratory distress Respiratory distress occurs when fluid builds up in the tiny elastic air sacs in your lungs. The fluid keeps your lungs from filling with enough air which means less oxygen risks your bloodstream. Head Sweating And heart palpitations Heart palpitations are feelings of having a fast beating, fluttering or pounding heart. Histamine intoxication is one of the biogenic amine toxicity. Consumption of foods, typically certain types of fish and cheese that contain unusually high levels of histamine. The incubation period ranges from several minutes to a few hours after meal. The symptoms include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and oral burning sensation of vaporitis, itching, red rash, and hypotension. Foods with histamine concentrations exceeding 50 mg per 100 gram of food are generally considered to be hazardous. How to prevent from poisoning of poisoning amines? Monitoring of raw materials and final products. Chilling and freezing the foods. Favorable conditions for microbial growth should be limited. And the last one is reducing the number of pyogenic amines producers via the pasteurization of meat to be used in cheese manufacture. Emerging control measures for delaying biogenic amine formation include HHP, irradiation, packaging, microbial modeling, and the use of food additive or preservative. These methods only delay biogenic amine formation in food primarily through the inhibition of bacteria or the decarboxylase enzyme activity responsible for amine production.